Okay, so here we are. We're going to take some of the beads off this frame. This is a perfect frame to, oops, to take beads off of. And we're going to do is we're going to test for Varroa. So here's my little sample jar. Hope you can see that. And you can see there's still some beads in there from a previous box. So we tap it down so all the beads go to the bottom. And then scoop. I know where the queen is, so make sure you look for your queen when you go to do this sample. Okay, and the reason why this is a perfect frame is it's got some cap, some not so cap. There we go. And some larvae, so it's an absolutely perfect frame for it. So, and there we go, we've got a sample from this. And that's how you take a sample. Okay, so we're going to take a sample for Varroa. And here's my test jar right here, just a little jar. And you want about 300 bees. Now, if you're doing one hive, you want 300 bees from one hive. If you're doing a whole pile of hives, you want 15% of that yard. You have to make sure you know where your queen is because you don't want to get your queen in the sample because these bees aren't coming back. So, I'm sampling from eight hives for this one yard. Well, 15% of the eight hives. So, here's part of my sample, as you can see. Part of my sample. And there's a frame. What makes this a perfect frame is you've got larva that is close to being capped. You've got some capped larva. You've got larva of all ages. So, I tap this down like this to get whatever bees I have in here down below because I'm doing a cross sample of my yard. You want a frame of brood that is mixed. You want some that are close to capping. You want some caps. But you want your frame of brood. You also want to make sure that your queen is nowhere in sight. Okay, so here I am with my sample jar. Now, most people do this with uh, alcohol when they go and they squish up the frame to get bees. They have the alcohol in here already. Alcohol kills bees almost instantly. And I'm clumsy. So, do the math. Yeah. So I do it now. So there is my Varroa sample taken from the brood frames. Now if I wanted to do Nozema, for Nozema, I would take foragers. You know, if you would lift off the lid after working a hive, the foragers would be the ones that would be on the lid. So I treated for Nozema already, so um, I'm not sure if I'll test for that. should test for Turkey though, but anyways. So, now this is a really interesting gadget, and this is what I wanted my husband to, um, to make me, but he didn't, so I went out and bought it. So, He's not going to be too impressed. He's just going to find out I bought it now. So, take your bees. Dump them in the test pot. Now normally I let this sit for a couple hours. Hello. Welcome back. Okay, so the mites have been sitting in the alcohol for over an hour now. Push it around to get it going. Boy, one bee yard use and it's a mess this fall. Okay. If there was any extra mites in there. They should show up now. Still only counting one mite. Wow. I'm kind of impressed. Kind of worried though. I was expecting more with the amount of brood that's in them hives. But, must have got a good fall kill. Anyways, there's the little bugger. Right 